been periodically advised to boil the tap water. We'll focus on poverty in Canada, including recommendations from the National Advisory Council on the water.
over the course of a month, you will face with many difficulties such as being overscheduled and working until late nights. However, this competition has helped us to be more critical of our time management. For your information, we are having our examination week while preparing this video, but it's not a big deal for us. It is difficult to keep up with the time, however, we're having a lot of time while recording. Then working with multiple slides in Keynote, ensuring consistency in animations was challenging. Our favorite moment is that we really enjoy filming and editing because we are really interested in making these things. Everyone was probably doing a week before submission. A lot of laughter as well when we were voice recording. Our bond as a team has become much stronger as we learn to understand and tolerate with each other and make best use of our time. Our favorite part of making a short movie in ICCP this year was when we exchanged our ideas together, gathered together, and devoted our thoughts to the process of making a short movie, which is so fun and interesting. We want to thank Scholars for organizing and giving us the opportunity to join this competition. We had a blast and we're looking forward to see the again next year. We are grateful for Skola Seri Putri for organizing this year ICCP. Thank you. And we hope to see it again next year. I'd like to thank Skola Seri Putri for giving us the opportunity to join this competition. We enjoyed expressing our creative minds through this competition and we hope to participate again next year. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings to all. Especially, Madam Hajar Norida binti Haji Ramlan, Principal of Sekolah Shiputri Cyberjaya. Associate Professor Dr. Harwati binti Hashim, Deputy Dean Undergraduate the National University of Malaysia. Mr. Azri bin Hassan, Senior Lecturer and Film Coordinator, College of Creative Arts, Digital and Imaging Arts, University Technology Mara. Senior Assistants of Sekolah Sri Putri Cyberjaya, Ms. Zuriani binti Muhammad Zain, Senior Assistant of Administration, Madam Hajah Aziza binti Osman, Senior Assistant of Student Affairs, and Mr. Asmadira bin Hashim, Senior Assistant of Co-Curriculum. Also not to forget, our interviewees from SMK Cyberjaya, Sekolah Suta Alam Shah, The Malay College Kuala Kangsa, Sekolah Sri Putri, Sekolah Menengah Atas one, Negeri 1 Purworejo, Indonesia, St. Mark Senior Secondary Public School, Mirabah, New Delhi, India. All principals of the participating school, teachers, guests and participants. Welcome to the third International Creative Creators Playground at SSP 2023. Before we proceed with today's event, allow us to introduce ourselves. I'm Huria Amira binti Zulkarnain. And I'm Sharifa Enaira binti Syed Muhammad al -Hafiz. We are your moderators today. Well, as you all know, the 2023 ICCP program, which commenced in May, officially ended yesterday on the 31st of July 2023. Actually, today, we will be reviewing the main objectives of organizing ICCP which is to hone the talents and problem-solving skills by integrating the students' skills in the usage of Apple applications and other suitable applications. Korea, what are the other objectives of ICCP? Other than that, participants should learn to think creatively and critically, communicate effectively, and use high-level thinking skills in an effort to shape the students to become global individuals, and have effective characteristics. Therefore, I am very confident that the committee of this ICCP at SSP 2023 has successfully achieved its objectives and the program provided a positive impact to all parties involved, especially to the participants. This afternoon, we feel very lucky to have the opportunity to speak casually with the ICCP participants as well as the lineup of invited panels involved. 
Before we start the ball rolling, it seems that it is not too late for us to congratulate all winners again on your success for ICCP at SSP 2023. Well, Korea, aren't you curious about what the participants have to say about our program? Sure, I am excited to hear their opinions about this program. I'm sure they got something to say. All right then, without further ado, let's continue the interview session this afternoon. I believe that all the participants are ready and also excited to answer our questions. We will start to the we will start the questions to the representatives of Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Cyberjaya and Indonesia first. Our first question goes to Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Cyberjaya. Let's start with Mr. Iman Nazim. Mr. Iman, could you please describe your experience in participating and also preparing for the third ICCP competition? We have experienced many shortcomings throughout this competition. At the beginning, we had high expectation. It looks like it was going to be an easy task for us. I already thought about how the film would go. It was only a matter of time before I told my teammates about it. Unfortunately, there was a miscommunication. Uh, the script had changed many times and there was a lot of foley between us. But despite the many challenges we have faced together, we still did our best to ensure that we produce a quality film for you to watch. Overall, we still had fun. The most important thing is to do what you like. At the very least, we tried our best. If we didn't join this competition, we could experience all these events. It is new to us and especially to me. If we don't win, we won't consider this as a waste of time. We'll take this as a lesson to improve ourselves in the near future. So in conclusion, I would like to take full responsibility for all of the mishaps I made throughout the whole process of the filmmaking. It was a lot and it maybe hurt a lot of people too. So I hope there isn't a bad blood between us. That's all. Thank you, Mr. Iman. Next, let's hear from Ms. Alia Kina Rahma Maharani, a representative of Sekolah Menengah Atas Negeri Satu Indonesia. Question number one, could you please describe your experience participating and preparing for the third ICCP competition? Well, hello everyone, I am the representative of the Indonesian delegation, Senior High School 1 Proarjo. The team from our school has three members, namely myself, Ali Kinarahma, Gabriela Charlene, and Burgess Ari. The first time we heard about this competition, we were very interested and finally we decided to take part in this competition. Uh, at first we were worried because at that time our school was holding final exams and we were a bit afraid to take part in this competition for fear of disturbing our concentration during the final exams. And it was also expected that the deadline was still long and there was still time after the final examination was over. We finally decided to speed up after the final exam was over. And at that time, it was not easy for us when other students were already on their vacation and enjoying the vacation while we had to still think about the concept for this ICCP competition. But yeah, we have tried our best to deal with the existing obstacles until we finish the video properly. Learning to sacrifice something is not easy, but we managed to do it. There is its own excitement and we also got a lot of new knowledge in this in the process of making the video. We hope that our team can get maximum and satisfying result. And win. So maybe that's all from us. Thank you. Thank you to both participants for sharing your thoughts. Naira, we've heard from Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Cyberjaya and Indonesia, right? Well, aren't you curious about what other Malaysian participants have to say about ICCP? Of course, Huria. All right, let's hear from them. My next question is for the Malay College Kuala Kangsa representative Mr. Muhammad Afiq Shahmi. So, what are the challenges faced throughout your preparation in making the video for this competition? Please welcome. 
Assalamualaikum and a very good day. I bid to anyone who's watching this five, six or seven video that I'll be giving on a question given to us by the Malay College Kuala Kangsal, which is one of the or one of the many challenges or all sorts of challenges that we've been facing from both the short film side and the animation side throughout the entire period that we've been given to complete our work. Now, me personally, I'll be giving the first half on the short film, which is the main goal was to actually try to incorporate the idea of SDG, uh, sorry, no poverty, zero poverty into a short skit. Now, the concept itself was something that was quite easy to tackle. However, knowing that three students have been given the chance and the opportunity to try and direct this video itself, we, all three of us, have been given different ideas. We've had different choices, we've had different ideas that we share with each other. Meaning that with different ideas come, obviously, clashes, where one of our teammates would say that this is the better choice, while the other one disagrees, saying that we should have stayed to the plan. Now, even though there has been a few conflicts, we were able to settle on a more convenient solution or a convenient idea that would be more beneficial as a whole. Wow, what an insightful comment from the Malay College Kuala Kangsa. Now, let's hear from Sekolah Sultan Alam Shah's representative, Mr. Saif Amirul Kashfi. One of the many challenges that we have to face is managing the filming set for the video. Yes, there is a lot of space inside this boarding school to record, but sometimes the place could be crowded and occupied by others. Some of the spots also doesn't fit quite well with the scenes that needs to be recorded. To deal with this, we have to plan the time and place to record this properly. Even dealing with our teachers to record outside of the school compound and this really challenged our time management skills to record the scene within the time given. Speaking of time management, our time could also be occupied by other activities. It could be other competitions, additional classes or other responsibilities. For all of us to record and discuss together could be really challenging as we need to find a time where everybody is ready and free to focus on this project. But because of this, our bond as a team has become much stronger as we learn to understand and tolerate with each other and make best use of our Yes, I agree. It seems like we're on the same pitch with Mr. Saif Amir Kashfi from Sekolah Suta Alam Shah. And now, let's hear what our international representative from India has to say about this program. Specifically, what are the challenges faced by them in the preparation of making the video for this competition? Please welcome our Indian delegate, Mr. Aryan Madan. Greetings, everyone. I am Aran Madan of St. Mark's Senior Secondary Public School, Mirabad, New Delhi, India. Thank you so much for granting me the opportunity to share our experience in preparing for the third ICCP at Sikola Seri Poteri. As a team, we encountered several challenges that tested our determination and resilience during the video production process. Due to unforeseen circumstances, an individual in our team was unable to contribute to the video. Consequently, the burden fell upon the remaining team members to generate ideas and complete the project. The situation presented us with more considerable difficulties as we had to assume additional responsibilities and work diligently to ensure the completion of this video. Furthermore, time constraints added to manage the complexity of our task. With only a few weeks at our disposal, we needed to efficiently manage our schedules to accommodate brainstorming sessions, filming and editing. The balancing act between school commitments and the demands of the competition proved to be quite challenging. However, our team remained steadfast and dedicated, striving to meet the competition's deadline and deliver a polished video. Despite the obstacles we encountered, we persevered and successfully completed the video, submitting it on time. This experience provided us with insights into collaboration, time management and creative problem solving, which will undoubtedly benefit us in our future endeavors. It is crucial to acknowledge that unforeseen circumstances can sometimes impact a team project 
preventing individuals from fully participating. Recognize and respect the personal reasons that may have hindered someone's involvement in a video production. In conclusion, participating in third ICCP at Sequoia Seripoteri competition was an exceptional experience for our team. We are immensely grateful for the growth, learning, and new connections it provided. Despite the challenges we faced, we emerged with a profound sense of a complement and invaluable knowledge. I wholeheartedly recommend these competitions to other students who aspire to explore this realm of short film production. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Arya Madan and all representatives for your sharing regarding the questions. Ladies and gentlemen, we have already heard some views from the students. Now, let's hear the views of, from, from one of our invited judges. Certainly, a professional view from an expert in the field of film would help us understand the prospect of the film industry and the path that students who are passionate about film can take at a territory level. Do you know who our invited guest is? Of course, Huria. He is none other than Mr. Azri bin Hassan. He is a senior lecturer at University Technology Mara and also an expert in filmmaking. Now, let's hear what Mr. Azri has to say. First question. If there are students who are interested in studying the field of film seriously and professionally, what is their path or direction after SPM? All right, my name is uh, Mr. Azri Abu Hassan, one of the uh, jury of the short film. Question number one, if there are students who are interested studying the field of film seriously and professionally, what is their, their part or direction after SPM? All right, so from this question, uh, every after the SPM, they should immerse um, and get themselves involved uh, with the art, okay? Uh, art of filmmaking, even before enrolling the film school, to express uh, themselves creatively, all right, through the right sources, all right. For the for for the words and words might say, time and tide and wait for no man, but uh, the word of the filmmaker might sounds like such as uh, creativity, wait for no time and time. Now, let's go to our second question. What is the future of film students in Malaysia? And can this field right, get... Question number two. <laughs> what is the future of film students in Malaysia? Can this field guarantee a solid uh, and stable career after they graduate. Hmm, the future of film student is uh, bright in Malaysia, all right? It's ultimately uh, on the positive sides, okay? As uh, this field can be a treasure um, trove for the fresh grads, all right? That, that will find uh, a solid and stable career as a filmmakers and creative content creator any way they can go, all right? A career in this creative industry is not only limited in Malaysia, right? It's a global occupation, right? And basically, it's a creativity is your limit, never the sky, uh, something like that, all right? So don't give up, don't worry. If you enroll this uh, this field and also the future of the film student, don't uh, don't don't worry. Okay, it's a bright for your good and it's a good career. Now, for the final question for Mr. Azri. How can we improve the quality of film industry in Malaysia to be comparable to international films? Question number three. How can we improve quality of film industry? In Malaysia to comparable to international film. There are a lot of approach that can we do. Uh, something like 
uh, we can to show our to world our story, right? Our culture, right? And our livelihood and ourselves to to position that Malaysian Malaysian have a lot of story to tell, right? Such as I I just uh, mentioned that just now, right? And then um, the other other is every filmmaker must brave to tell a good storyline and also the style of filmmaking as long as uh, our global audience can uh, can accept our story okay and then one thing is you have to brave enough to try okay and then when when the improvement uh, process starts all right through uh, through the trying okay no harm all right no harm is done in trying okay and then but a lot of damage uh, is done when you don't try at all the keyword is you have to brave enough to try and try to uh, something like to tell a story a good in way right and the, the style of filmmaking and then the most important is what is your idea who you want to tell to the audience all right thank you that's all for to me i hope uh, you guys have something like input uh, into related this field filmmaking i hope everyone uh, the participant and also the filmmakers if you want to be a good director the script writer the cinematographer please do a lot of short film keep keep doing and then post it into social media and then our audience will realize that we have uh, something what do you call something ideal to tell to the audience in good storyline in good actor actress the style of filmmaking and so on all right thank you so much Thank you, Mr. Azri, for the constructive comments and insightful view about future in filmmaking. Ladies and gentlemen, our ICCP talk this afternoon will be continued with a few more questions for the selected participants. All right, now we're going to hear from Scholastry Putri's representative, Ms. Nuri Maisara Binti Ahmad Fitri. So in your opinion, what are the advantages that one may get by participating in this program? Please welcome. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings. My name is Nurin Maisara. I'm a participant of Skola Street Putri, competing in the creative category. In my opinion, the participants of this program are exposed to much more than just the theoretical aspects of a certain project. We had the chance to explore the step-by-step -step behind the scenes in creating an insightful film or an enlightening digital animation. From my experience, it is much more rewarding and exciting to explore the intricacies and art of producing on your own rather than strictly following a step-by-step -step tutorial. This program certainly sharpens skills, promotes teamwork, encourages critical thinking, and above all, expands the creative minds of the youth. Moving on to our next question is to our Indian delegate, Mr. Ame Agarwal. So, what are the values you have achieved or gained at the end of this competition? Greetings to one and all. Myself, Ame Agarwal, from St. Mark's Senior Secondary Public School, Mirabad, New Delhi, India. Overcoming poverty is not a gesture of charity, but protection of a fundamental right. The right to dignity, and a decent life. We were truly enlightened of this global perspective through this competition by Team ICCP. Preparation of the enactment made us aware of the challenges faced by poverty stricken people. This project made us aware that often lack of information deteriorates the condition of the common man. They fail to understand the availability of the common programs available to the rescue. The ICC competition has highlighted the basic structures behind our society 
economic, legal and political workings and their complexities. The need of the hour is to make them aware of the initiatives, thereby giving them a gleam of hope. Furthermore, it is also showed to us that the world's greatest challenges can be controlled through each other's support and by spreading awareness. We have started believing that no one should live a deplorable life when there is always an option to team up. It has surprised us of how much research and information is packed into SDG 1, No Poverty. From extensive facts and figures to the individual targets that make up each goal, this learning experience has been truly fruitful. This program has truly inspired us to join communities through which we can make efforts to share prosperity, ensure basic standards of living, and provide social protection benefits for people everywhere, including the poorest and the most vulnerable. It's worth emphasizing that Team ICCP has given us the chance to add extra depth to the concern and see not only which parts of the goal are missing, but also what can be achieved in a limited time frame. Thank you Team ICCP for giving us this opportunity. Thank you to Ms. Noreen Maisara and Mr. Ami Agawa for your sharing just now. It was very interesting, don't you think so? Absolutely. They made me realize the values that we can learn from this program. Now, moving on to our next question. It's to Mr. Muhammad Afiq Shahmi from the Malay College Kuala Kangsa. So, based on your opinion, to what extent can this competition help to manifest a student's outcome? This is actually quite an interesting question as there's been many outcomes that we've seen throughout the students' hard work and throughout the countless hours of efforts that we've put into our work. Now, this competition itself has given us multiple ways of getting outcomes that will help us more in the future itself. Now, one of those is obviously how hardworking one could be or the concept of being a hard worker yourself. Why? This is because, like I said, in the last video, we've been putting countless sleep, countless nights of not being able to sleep or sleeping late for the sole fact that random ideas just pop up in our head or we feel dissatisfied in the script or the ideas that we've been giving out to our other teammates. Meaning that even a Telegram group chat filled with only three people could be filled to the brim to the point that it looks like there's been 10 five people talking. Now, the concept of making a script itself here, not only is it hardworking, but it also helps us to be more creative because the ideas generated by us, be it from being a sorrow story or to one of very comedic, pur comedic purposes, these ideas that have been generated, that have been rejected by ourselves or, or by our teammates, Despite being rejected or being used, these ideas would be able to help us in the future. Per se, we've been given another situation or another competition which is similar to this one where we're supposed to make a short film or an animation. We're able to pick up from this competition, the ideas from this competition, and we're able to elaborate it or to use it in the f next or any other things that will come in the future. Now, not only that, but something that I've noticed on the animator side is to try to not stress yourself out because animating itself is a hard process, meaning that no matter how stressed you are, you have to make sure that you're calm in creating the animation or else one blender and you're supposed to erase that entire frame, restarting it bit by bit. So by making yourself by turning yourself into a more calmer person, you're able to animate with more, you're able to make an animation that is more fluid and more smooth. Thank you, Mr. Muhammad Afiq Shahmi. We've come to our final question for the participants, which is for Ms. Rahani from Skola Sri Putri. So, here is the question. 
To what extent can this competition generate students' higher order thinking skills? Good afternoon. My name is Raihani Binti Muhammad Yunus and I represent Scholar Siputri as one of the contestants for this year's third international Creative Creators Playground. In my opinion, group activities allow students to communicate, hear different perspectives and engage in problem solving. Apart from getting students to collaborate, the task also requires students to analyse and synthesise information as they have to create a script for the video. Students had also developed the skills of interpretation. They had to think different kind of emotions and write a short story script to portray each character's emotion. Other than that, that they had also developed the skills of evaluation by creating a short video on a specific topic. In order to write the script for the short video, they had to do some online research. This had led them to develop the skills of analysis. Therefore, this competition generates students high order thinking skills because by creating a short story video, students evaluate, reflect on and analyze this information. That is all from me. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Ms. Rahani, for the feedback. We are sure that all ICCP participants have used their higher order thinking skills in making their films and digital animations. Thank you to all teams for sharing your thoughts regarding ICCP at SST. Ladies and gentlemen, ICCP won't be a success without partnerships with University Technology Mara and Apple Professional Learning Malaysia. Well, if a moment ago, we spoke with an invited judge about filmmaking. Now, let's listen to one of the judges from the creators category who is an Apple Professional Learning Specialist. I would like to invite Associate Professor Dr. Harwati Binti Hashim. She is the Deputy Dean of Undergraduate at the National University of Malaysia. Well, Doctor, as an expert in Apple applications, in your opinion, how can mastery in various Apple applications shape a global individual? Mastery in various Apple applications can significantly shape a global individual by providing them with a diverse skill sets, fostering creativity, enhancing productivity, as well as collaboration across borders. I think some of the ways how this mastery can have a global impact is probably through digital proficiency. Mastery in Apple applications enables individuals to navigate the digital world with ease. And this is crucial in a globally connected world where digital literacy is essential for personal and professional growth. As for creativity and innovation, I always believe that Apple applications encourage creativity and innovation, which allows individuals to produce high quality multimedia content and then share their unique perspective with others. Um, global individuals can use Apple applications and platforms to raise awareness about important social issues and advocate for positive change. So by creating compelling content that can reach a wide audience and inspire actions on global challenges. What an interesting view shared by Dr. Harwati just now. Moving on to our next question. The young generation is now very fast in exploring information technology. Therefore, if an individual is interested in the field, what career scope is seen as having high potential to venture into? Well, the rapid growth of information technology has created a plethora of career opportunities for individuals interested in the field. We can see the demands for IT professionals continues to rise, and there are several high potential career paths to consider. Probably some of the most promising ones, I would say software development engineer, um, data science and analytics experts, or probably artificial intelligence and machine learning experts. We may also want to look at a uh, cybersecurity area, cloud engineers and architects, and among the famous one is Internet of Things, or maybe you want to look into or venture into IT project management or IT consultants. 
I think the field of information technology offers a vast array of exciting and high potential career options. The key is to identify one's interests and strengths, continue learning and honing relevant skills, and stay up to date with the latest trends and advancement in the industry. Um, as technology continues to shape the world, IT professionals will remain in demand, making it an excellent field to venture into for the future. Last but not least, our final question is, what advice and hope can be given to the younger generation so that they can be more competitive in the future? Um, my advice to you would be um, increase your willingness to learn and you should be able to adapt uh, because this is very crucial. Embrace continuous learning. Uh, both formally through education and informally through self-exploration and study. Um, stay curious, be open to new ideas and seek knowledge beyond your comfort zone. Um, another important and crucial, I believe, is to develop your critical thinking and problem-solving skills. Cultivate your ability to think critically and approach challenges with a problem-solving mindset. These skills will help you to navigate complex situations, make informed decisions, and find innovative solutions to problems. Uh, perhaps additionally, um, look at technology and embrace technology. Technology is an integral part of the modern world. Embrace it, understand its potential, and use it responsibly. Tech savviness can give you a competitive edge in various fields and help you stay connected in a globalized world. Don't forget, while technical expertise is essential, soft skills like communication, collaboration, empathy, and emotional intelligence are equally important. These skills enhance your ability to work well with others, lead effectively, and build a strong relationships. As a student, I strongly agree with Dr. Harwati. So, a message to all, remember to always continue exploring new things. Thank you very much to Dr. Harwati for the insightful comments. Last but not least, we would like to address these two questions to the representatives of Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Saibudaya and Indonesian delegates. Okay, so, Mr. Iman Nazim, what is your hope towards this competition? I hope to make a powerful film that touches your heart and helps you understand what poverty is really like. We want to show you that poverty is more than just numbers, but it's about real people facing tough challenges every day. Through our film, we hope to make you feel for those who are going through these struggles and inspire you to make a difference. We all come from different backgrounds and bring unique ideas to the table. Together, we fought tooth and nail to create a story that sticks with you long after you watch it. And I hope this competition can inspire your future filmmaking leaders to produce an even better product compared to us. That's all. Thank you, Mr. Iman Azim. Korea, aren't you excited to hear the last sharing for today? Yes, definitely. I'm wondering what our last representative has to say. Now, let's hear our last sharing from Ms. Gabriela Charlene Wijaya, representing Sekolah Menengah Atas Negeri Satu, Purworejo, Indonesia. What is your hope towards this competition? Hello everyone, I am a representative of the Indonesian delegation, namely Senior High School 1 Purworejo. The team from our school has three members, namely myself, Gabriela Charlene, Tadas Ari and Alia Kinarula. Our hope for ICCB in the future is that it can be held offline with a few days of quarantine so that we can add experience and also increase relations with international friends. Compared to online, offline will be better. In addition, if after consideration this program is still implemented online, we ask for a Zoom session which can allow us to get acquainted and interact with other international participants. Besides that, 
This event is very good to be developed bigger and better for the future because it can train students' creativity and also help realize sustainable development goals. Maybe that's all we can say. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you to all the school's representatives for their honest feedback and inspiring views just now. I hope that this session has been fruitful to all viewers. It is hoped that we can meet again another time. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to an end of the ICCP talk in conjunction with 3rd ICCP at SSP in 2023. Our heartfelt thanks goes to the invited judges and participants for making time for the interviews. On this occasion, on behalf of Skola Sri Putri Cyberjaya, we would like to express our deepest gratitude and appreciation to all schools involved in making the third International Creative Creators Playground ICCP at SSP, an international event, a success in 2023. Well then, with that, we apologize for any shortcomings on our part during this talk session. We wish all the best to everyone. Till we meet again in the fourth edition of ICCP at SSP. We end our event today with the recitation of Al As and Tasbeki Farah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wal as inna al insana la fi hus illa allazina amanu wa amilu salihat wa tawasaw bil haqq wa tawasaw bis sabr. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik wa sallallahu ala sayidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin That's all from us wa bilahi taufiq wal hidayah wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh